Types of Agricultural Extension Programs. This topic will di be divided into three sections to discuss the practices of agricultural extension programs with regard to the ways in which they work with farmers, the methods of communication used by extension programs, and the types of education they offer. Agricultural extension agents work with farmers in various contexts. These contexts include one-on-one -on -one with individual farmers or individual families, a group approach, a school approach, or mass dissemination of information. Each of these approaches has merits and disadvantages. The one-on-one -on -one approach. When using this approach, agricultural extension agents work one-on-one -on -one with an individual farmer or their family. This approach is best suited for issues or activities that are under the control of the individual farmer. The one-on-one -on -one approach is carried out using farm or home visits or telephone calls to individual farmers. The advantages of this approach include making sure that the message is well received by getting immediate feedback from the farmer, building trust with the farmer, and ensuring buy-in from the entire family. Disadvantages include that it is time consuming and therefore diminishes the reach of the agent. It is expensive in terms of time and it can sometimes be limited to those farmers that the extension agent knows. Group approach. Using this approach, extension agents work with groups of farmers. This approach is best used when the information being discussed is relevant to a large group or requires the cooperation of the community to put into practice. For example, this might be the best method for working with a whole community on irrigation infrastructure issues. This group approach can be carried out by organizing meetings, visiting farmers cooperatives, giving lectures, or by organizing tours or field trips to demonstration farms. Advantages of the method include that more people are reached at one time. Many voices from community members can be heard and influential people in the community may be able to encourage buy-in from the greater community. Disadvantages can occur when a few voices dominate the conversation or it is difficult to get a large group to agree upon an idea. It is also sometimes difficult for an individual's concerns to be addressed in a group setting. School approach. Using this approach, extension agents work with schools to bring information to students and their families. This may be in the form of working directly to students during assemblies or club meetings, or it may include working with families during parent meetings. The advantage of this approach is that schools are natural community gathering spaces and many people can be reached using fewer resources. Students may also bring ideas back to their families to implement on their family farms. However, the disadvantages include that students may not yet have enough influence to impact their family or community, and that it may take a long time to make impact since students will not be tending their own farms for several years. Mass dissemination of information. This approach includes disseminating or passing out information using mass media. For example, information may be made available to farmers via mailers, magazines, posters, newspapers, television, or radio. The advantage to this method is that the extension officers are able to quickly reach a large number of people. However, in rural communities, there is still insufficient access to television and radio to rely solely on those methods. These efforts can also be hindered by language barriers of farmers or farmer illiteracy. Varied approaches are best. 
types of education. In the last topic, we learned that the most basic goal of agricultural extension programs is to improve the production of crops. However, this is done in different ways, and there are additional goals of agricultural extension. Agricultural extension agents may share research or demonstrate the effects of new farming practices. When sharing research, extension agents may showcase the impact of a particular method of farming. For instance, instead of just telling farmers about a new method of irrigation that is improving crop yield, the agent may share the story of other farmers that have begun to use the new method. This may include sharing photographs of the farm, sharing data about crop yield before and after use of the new method, or sharing testimonials from the farmers who are using the method. Another method that agricultural extension agents use is demonstrating new practices for farmers and allowing the farmers to try. This is particularly effective using the group approach. For instance, an extension agent may demonstrate the use of a new cultivation technique or tool to a group of farmers. After demonstrating, time can be given for the group of farmers to each try the new technique or tool. Then the group can discuss how the technique or tool might benefit their farm. This applies to more than just farming techniques. The agricultural extension agent may also share new ideas for farm management, bookkeeping, or marketing of products. The agricultural extension agent may also work with cooperatives of farmers to improve storage and distribution of crops. Two-way communication. In addition to bringing new techniques, technologies, and research-based practices to farmers, another important aspect of agricultural extension is learning from the farmers. Through informal communication and more formal interviews, agricultural extension agents are able to learn from farmers about the problems they face and how they are overcoming these challenges. Extension agents also serve as the connection between local populations and research institutions, bringing the concerns of farmers back to researchers so that they have a better understanding of the practical concerns facing farmers in the field.